Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. Today we will talk about creation of circular array of objects in ComSol using the operation rotate. Do watch the entire playlist for all the details about geometry in ComSol. Let us now jump into the topic. So we have to create this particular picture. You can see there is a bigger circle and inside that there are smaller circles and the smaller circles actually formed an array and they are rotational array or you can say circular array so let us go and do this task so initially we go to model wizard as you know the geometry is 2d so we select 2d and go to the console interface initially let us right click on the geometry and make the bigger circle say circle c1 and let us put it one meter itself I click on build selected now duplicate the circle C1 and let us take the radius as 0.1 and place it somewhere here say Y would be 0.85 so this is the center of the circle center of the smaller circle will be somewhere here 0.85 I click on build all objects so you can see the smaller circle is created here now I want to copy these smaller circles around at the periphery of the bigger circle and for that I go to geometry right click on it you can see there are an option transformations transforms and under this you will get this rotate just click on rotate and we can do it you can see there is an angle of rotation I click on range let us start with 0 degree 0 degree means here the rotational 0 degree that means uh, the reference uh, I mean where the reference is located uh, from this position it will start uh, it will take as 0 and it will keep changing the degrees so let us make a step of 45 degree and go up to 360 degree and click on add uh, let us choose the geometry we have to yeah not this one we need to choose the smaller one and click on build all objects so once you click on it you can see the array of smaller circles are created now the point is there is another option that is center of rotation so this is very important so when we choose 0 0 as center of rotation what it does is now it has formed a circle whose center is located at 0 0 and the radius of the circle would be the radius which is equal to the distance between this circle 0 0 and the circle of the smaller circle I mean the radius of the smaller I mean center of the smaller circle now uh, this distance will be uh, around 0.65 so let us check it let us draw another circle whose radius let us take 0.65 and the center will be 0 0 uh, it is not 0.65 it will be 0.85 because yeah because the distance was 0 0.85 from 0 0 so once you take 0 0.85 you can see around this circle it has created multiple small circles now if we want to change the number of small circles let us keep it 22.5 so it will double the number of circles you can see we can now create more circles so this this is how you can make a nice circular array of objects and that might be necessary in some of your uh, projects uh, and this will be very helpful if you can uh, if you can use this rotate operation because creating multiple circles individually is difficult at the same time the alignment you cannot uh, make it appropriate every time so this is a nice operation so today I'm stopping here we'll continue with the geometry series I request you to subscribe to our channel for more updates in ComSol in engineering mathematics and other topics thank you very much